Good day, ladies. So today we're going to look at one of our salt preparation labs. This lab is done in three parts because we're preparing three separate salts. For the first salt that is on the roster, which is our salt by ionic precipitation, we're going to use this apparatus that is in front of you apparatus that you should be familiar with and I'm also going to use some litmus paper so as we go along please make a record of the apparatus that you would use also one of the techniques that you can use is to look through your method and record your apparatus based on what the method says that you would use so first up we're preparing our salt by ionic precipitation i've already measured my volumes so my lead nitrate So the next thing we do is filter our mixture to separate our solid precipitate from the filtrate, which it is currently mixed in with. And if you can see, or maybe not in the camera, this has already started to settle out. So we first need to prepare our filter paper. So if you've not used filter paper before, there's a special technique for folding our filter paper because of course you'd see our filter paper comes as a disc that needs to be a, a circle rather that needs to be folded. So the first thing we do is fold our filter paper in half. And then we fold that half in half again. So essentially you folded your filter paper in two quarters. So we have our folded filter paper and you will take your finger and place it into one of the pockets if you will and open the filter paper to create a cone. I'll do that again. So we have our filter paper folded into quarters and we're taking our finger and just placing it into one of the pockets and opening it into a cone. So we're going to place our filter paper in our um, filter funnel. Sometimes if our filter paper is not sticking, we will take some distilled water and just give it a quick spray so that the filter paper would stick. In this case, my filter funnel is a bit damp so that I don't have to do that. The filter funnel is sticking on its own. So filtering. I give my mixture a swirl because again, remember I said that some of it had settled out already. So in order to get that solid distributed, I give it a quick swirl and a very quickly pour it in, making sure that I've not overflown my filter paper. So see that we still have some residue in our filter, um, in our beaker. We're going to take some distilled water and rinse that and pour it into the funnel. So this is what is described as rinsing my apparatus, where I just take some water and ensure that all of my residue has been transferred to the filter paper. So note the color of the filtrate. And 
And of course, once this has settled, we'd note the color of the residue. Even though it looks a little bit yellow, um, let's record our filtrators colorless, please. So here we see our residue, please note the appropriate colors. 